Hi friends, this is Naresh. Welcome back to my channel Technical Talks with Naresh. Today I am going to prepare a video on BI reports using Excel template in Oracle Fusion. Okay. In our previous video, I already told you that how to create the BI report using the RTF as well as the eText template. In this video, we will see how to create the report using the Excel template. Okay. Before starting, I just want to tell you that if you are new on my channel, please subscribe to my channel for latest update. So continuing with the topic, I'm going to my Oracle Fusion instance. So I'm on the catalog of my Oracle Fusion instance. Okay. So how to navigate to this catalog page? You can refer my previous video for that. Okay. So now what I have to do, I have to create a new data model. So I'm clicking on this new button. Then after here is a data model. So I just click on the data model. So it will redirect me on the data model page. So what we have to do, we have to write one query first, okay, in the data model for creating the report. So I am just clicking on this plus icon, then here is an SQL query and I am giving the name as Excel template. Okay, then here I am choosing the data source as Fusion DB and here we have to write the query. So first of all, I will do one thing. I will write all the required step on one notepad. So our aim is BI report using excel template so first thing is we need to create the data model so create data model okay for creating the data model we need a query so i am having one query with me i am just pasting that query it over here so this is my query what we are doing in this query i am fetching three columns that is po header id then second is segment one third is the term id and which is from the po headers all table and we are also performing the join over here between the table po headers and po lines given one condition ronum which is less than or equals to 10 why we are taking this because we don't want to fetch bulk of data okay that's why i Taken. So I am copying the same query and I am going to my data model screen. Here I am just pasting the query and I am just changing the name. I am writing DM for it. It is for the data model and I will click on OK button. Okay, so you can see that my three columns are generated. So I am going to this data tab. Then after I will click on the view button. Then here is a table view. So I will click on the table view. Okay. So I am getting all the three columns. So I am saving this data model into the shared folders. Here I will create one another folder that is Excel template. And in this folder, I will save my data model. So I will give the name to my data model that is Excel underscore template underscore dm dm is nothing but for the data model i'm copying the same name into the description section also and i will just click on ok so you can see over here it is saved okay now what i will do i will click on save as a sample data then click on ok then here is a button create report as soon as we click on the create report button it will redirect us on one wizard for creating the report i don't want to create the report using the wizard so i'm cancelling this wizard and here is a data model tab. So here I am browsing my data model. So this is my data model Excel template DM. So I am just selecting this data model. So you can see over here my data model is selected. Now I want to upload the RTF template. Okay. But before uploading RTF template, I want to create the template. Okay. So the first step is done. That is create the data model. Okay. Now what we have to do? We have to create create the excel template so for that what we have to do just i want to open one of the excel file so i am having this excel now what i will do i will save this excel as save as and i will save it over here so i will just change this to xls okay so what extension we need for the excel template that is the xls and I will give the name as Excel template and I will click on save button. So it had automatically saved that template and came on this screen. Okay. I want to design this template. 
so here we are having three sheets sheet 1 sheet 2 and the sheet 3 so i want to create the template to display these three columns which is present in my query okay so for that what we have to do we are having some tags okay excel template tags these tags are nothing but the xdo tags so it will start with xdo capital xdo that underscore that question mark then element name then again question mark okay so this is the syntax for declaring the element so here what is element name element name is nothing but our column name so in the same manner we have to declare that into the excel template so this is my excel template so I, what i will do i will just copy this same column name over here and i am pasting it here so this is my po header id then second one is my segment one and then third one is my term id okay so i just pasted it as it is okay so this is po header id then i have to give one header to this so i am writing po header id then segment one is nothing but the po number so i am writing it as an po number and then this is the term id okay so these three are the headings so i will just do one thing i will highlight it with some different color okay so then here i have to give some heading like which we are giving into the rtf template so i will do merge and center and i will write over here purchase order report okay I can do the color change I can increase the font size if you want to make it as an italic and bold same all the features you will do in the RTF template you can do it over here also okay so what I had did this one till this that is done okay but what happened our excel tag syntax is somewhat different what is it I want to write this xdo underscore question mark in the start and this question mark at the end of the element. So what I will do, I am just writing this in front of this tag. Okay. So I am just writing this again at the end, there is a question mark. And same thing I will do for the segment one and then I will do it for the terms ID. Okay. So all three are done. Then I just enlarging this okay so what is this this is the tags now one thing we have to do what we have to do here is the tag then we want to create the xml tag for this okay so for that we have to go to this formula and here is an, a name manager okay then we have to click on the new then the same name which is present over here it is automatically came over here then which workbook we want to give that is sheet 1 so i am giving it as a sheet 1 if you want to add any command for this you can add if you don't want you can keep it as a blank click on ok so as soon as you click on ok this will show you that this name with this value is created for the sheet 1 then you have to close so what happened now check it this so what is this when i click on this cell so you can see over here the tag name so tag name automatically appearing over here okay but if i am going on this cell it is showing me c4 it is showing me d4 because we had not created tags for this two now what we have to do we have to create the tag for segment one as well as the term id so i am doing it for the segment one and now i am doing the same for this term id so all the three tags are generated we can check it over here okay i am just saving this now what we have to do we need to repeat this data with every header okay so we need to repeat this but we don't want to repeat this header just we want to repeat this particular group so there is one another syntax for the group so this is the syntax for element element syntax And the second one is nothing but the group syntax. 
so group syntax is same as the element syntax just here instead of this element name we are having it as a group name so just i am replacing element with group okay so this is the syntax so in group what we have to do we have to select all these three particular rows then we have to go to the name manager okay then here we have to click on new so here the name won't come because we had selected more than one row but what is our group name so by default the group name is g1 in oracle fusion which will be represent on the data model okay so you can see this group name into the data model also then here on which sheet we have to give it is an a sheet one okay then just click on ok button so you can see all these four particular element tags and the group tags are created now close this then one more thing so here we are having three sheet sheet one sheet two and the sheet three but we don't require this much of sheet because we are using only one sheet so we require only one but this second sheet also we require why we require we require this sheet because we want to fill some metadata over here okay so for this sheet you have to give one name so metadata sheet name so for that sheet you always have to give the name xdo underscore metadata and you have to remember one thing that you have to give the naming always in the caps okay i'm just copying the same and i'm giving the same name to the sheet 2 okay and i'm just deleting this sheet 3 but nothing is here so what we have to give it over here so there is some columns which we have to add over here so i am just pasting that particular data which we want to add it over here so this type of data you have to add this much of the column and this the data constraint so we are having the template type as excel template so type underscore excel underscore template just you have to fill this one other things we will see in our next videos okay so this is done so what we have to do next we have to hide this metadata sheet so i am just right clicking and hide now we are having just one sheet so i am saving this template and i will go back to my catalog page and here i already uploaded the data model now what i will do i will just upload the excel template so i will give the name as excel underscore template and here i will choose the template then type so here we have to give the excel as the template type then locale is english then i will click on upload button so you can see that it is uploaded now what i have to do i have to save it first so i am just saving it so we have to give a name to save this so this is excel template report i am copying the same name into the description section also and i will just click on ok button you can see that it is saved now i will just click on view report button so as soon as i click on this report button it will show me the message that is report completed and it will download the template for us i am just opening that template so the template is open but all the pure header id and pure numbers all the things are appearing in one line okay so maybe we had mistake something in the template so i am opening the template back so this is our template maybe we are having some mistake in the name manager so i am going to the name manager so here is an g1 okay so here is a mistake so what the mistake is so here we had written only g1 tag so instead of this g1 what we need as per our syntax xdo underscore group underscore question mark and then we need the name of the group that is g underscore one and then again question mark so we need this field so i'm just copying this and i'm going back to excel template and i'm just editing this and i will paste it over here just click on ok so you can see it is modified now i will just close this i will save the template 
I will go to the report creation page. Here is the template which we already created. I am just deleting this template and I will upload the new template. Here is the upload icon. I am giving the same name that is an Excel underscore template. Then I will choose the template. So this is my template. Then I will select the template type and then I will select the language. Then I will click on the upload button. So you can see that this template is uploaded. Now I will click on this view report button. So you can see the message report completed and and here the output is downloaded automatically. I am just opening that output. Okay, so this is my outputs. This is the purchase order report, the heading which which we had given, and these are the three columns which we are trying to fetch. This is the PO numbers. So in this way we had created the BI report using the Excel template. In next video, we are going to see the Excel template for the drill down in BI reports. Okay. Please like, share, subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.